The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. And we sent not down upon his people after him any host from the sky, and nor would we have sent down. It was only one blast, and then were they silent. Oh, the sorrow upon the servants! There came not to them a messenger, save they mocked him. Have they not considered how many generations we destroyed before them? They will not return to them, and each will be summoned before us all together. And a proof for them is the dead earth. We give it life, and we bring forth from it grain, then eat they thereof. And we made therein gardens of date palms and grapes, and we caused springs to gush forth therein that they might eat of its fruit. And their hands made it not. Will they then not be grateful? Glory be unto him who created all the kinds of that which the earth produces, and of themselves, and of that which they know not. And a proof to them is the night. We withdraw from it the day, and then they grow dark. And the sun swims to its place. That is the determining of the mighty, the knowing. And the moon we appointed stations until it returns like an old date leaf stalk. The sun, it behooves it not to reach the moon, nor the night to outrun the day, and each is in a circuit swimming. And a proof to them is that we carried their progeny in the laden ship, and we created for them the like thereof on which they embark. And if we will, we drown them. Then is there no cry for help for them, nor are they rescued, save by mercy from us, and as an enjoyment for a time. But when it is said to them, Be in prudent fear of what is at your time and what following you, that you might obtain mercy, ellipsis, they turn away therefrom, to continue. And there comes not to them a proof among the proofs of their Lord, save they turn away therefrom. And when it is said to them, Spend of what God has provided you, those who are indifferent to warning say to those who heed warning, Shall we feed those whom, had God willed, he would have fed? You are only in obvious error. And they say, when is this promise, if you be truthful? They await only one blast, which will take them while they are disputing. They will not be able to make a bequest or return to their people. And the trumpet will be blown, and then from the graves will they hasten to their Lord, saying, Woe is us, who has raised us from our places of rest! This is what the Almighty promised, and the emissary spoke the truth. It is only one blast, and then are they summoned before us all together. This day is no soul wronged in anything, and you are not rewarded save for what you did. The companions of the garden this day are engaged in gladness, they and their wives in shade upon raised couches reclining. They have therein fruit, and they have what they call for, peace, a word from a merciful Lord. And be you separate this day, O you evildoers, did I not enjoin you, O sons of Adam, that you serve not the shaitan? He is an open enemy to you, but that you serve me? This is a straight path. And he led astray among you a great multitude. Did you then not use reason? This is hell which you were promised.
burn therein this day for what you denied. This day we seal their mouths and their hands speak to us, and their feet bear witness as to what they earned. And had we willed, we would have put out their eyes, then would they compete for the path, but how would they see? And had we willed, we would have so transformed them in their place, so they could neither proceed nor return. And whom we bring to old age, we reverse in creation. Will you then not use reason? And we have not taught him poetry, and it does not behoove him. It is only a remembrance and a clear recitation to warn those living and that the word might become due against those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Have they not considered how we created grazing livestock for them of what our hands made? Then are they their masters, and we subdued them to them, so that some of them they ride, and some of them they eat, and they have in them benefits and drink. Will they then not be grateful? And they take gods other than God, that they might be helped. They will not be able to help them when they are for them a force summoned. So let not their speech grieve thee. We know what they conceal and what they make known. Has man not considered that we created him from a drop of fluid? And then is he an open disputant. And he presents to us an example and forgets his creation, saying, Who will give life to these bones when they are rotted away? Say thou, He will give them life who brought them into being the first time. And he knows all creation, who appointed for you fire from the green tree, then you kindle therefrom. Is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like of them? Verily. And he is the creating, the knowing. The command is but his. When he intends a thing, he says to it, Be thou, and it is. So glory be unto him in whose hand is the dominion of all things, and to whom you will be returned. Chapter 37 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. By those lined up in rows, and those who urge forcefully, and those who recite a remembrance, your God is one, Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, and the Lord of the daybreaks. We adorned the lower sky with the adornment of the stars, and as protection from every refractory shaitan. They cannot listen in on the exalted assembly, and are pelted from every side, repel and they have a perpetual punishment, save he who snatches a fragment, a piercing flame follows him. So ask thou them, are they harder to create, or whom we have created? We created them of clinging clay, yet thou dost marvel, and they deride. And when they are reminded, bear not in mind. And when they see a proof, turn to derision and say, This is only obvious sorcery. When we are dead and are become dust and bones, will we be raised up? And will our forefathers say thou, Yea, and you will be abased? Then will it be but one cry, and then will they see, and they will say, Woe is us, this is the day of judgment, this is the day of decision, which you repudiated. 
Gather those who did wrong and their kinds and what they used to serve instead of God and guide them to the path of hell. But stop them. They are to be questioned. What ails you that you help not one another? The truth is, this day are they in complete submission and they will draw near to one another asking one another they will say you came to us with authority ellipsis then why did you not guide us to continue they will say the truth is you were not believers and we had no warrant against you the truth is you were people transgressing all bounds so the word of our lord has become binding upon us we are tasting and we misguided you, we were misguided. They this day are partners in the punishment, thus do we with the evildoers. They, when it was said to them, there is no God save God, were proud. And they said, are we to forsake our gods for a possessed poet? The truth is, he brought the truth and confirmed the emissaries. You are to taste the painful punishment, and you will be rewarded only for what you did. Save the pure-hearted servants of God. They have an appointed provision. Fruits, ellipsis, beyond imagining, to continue. And they are honoured in the gardens of bliss, upon couches facing one another. A cup from a running spring being moved about among them, white, a pleasure to the drinkers, wherein is no harm, nor are they intoxicated thereby. And with them maidens of modest-eyed gaze as if they were eggs closely guarded, and they will draw near to one another, asking one another. A speaker among them will say, I had an intimate companion. He used to say, Art thou in truth of those who give credence? When we are dead and are become dust and bones, will we be held to account? He will say, Will you look? Then will he look and see him in the midst of hell. He will say, By God, thou hadst almost brought me to ruin, and were it not for the grace of my Lord, I would have been among those summoned. Are we then not to die, save our former death, and not to be punished? That is the tremendous achievement. For the like of this let them work who work. Is this better as a welcoming gift or the tree of Zakkum? We made it a means of denial for the wrongdoers. It is a tree that comes forth at the source of hell. Its spathes as the heads of the shaitans. They are to eat thereof and fill the bellies therewith. Then on top of it have they a scalding liquid. Then is their return to hell. They found their fathers astray, and they hastened, following hard upon them. And most of the former peoples had gone astray before them, and we had sent among them warners. So see thou how was the final outcome of those warned, save the pure-hearted servants of God. And Nuh called to us, excellent were those who responded, and we delivered him and his household from the tremendous ordeal, and we made his progeny those remaining. And we left for him among those who came later, peace be unto Nuh among all mankind, Thus reward we the doers of good. He was among our believing servants, then drowned we the others. 
and of his sect was Ibrahim, when he came to his Lord with a sound heart, when he said to his father and his people, What is it you serve? Is it falsehood, gods besides God you desire? So what is your thought about the Lord of all mankind? And he contemplated deeply the stars and said, I am sick. Then they turned from him and left. Then he turned aside to their gods and said, Will you not eat? What ails you that you speak not? And he turned on them, striking with his right hand. Then came they towards him in haste. He said, Serve you that which you yourselves hew, and God created you, and what you make. They said, Build for him a structure, and cast him into the blazing fire. And they intended for him a plan. Then we made them the lowest. And he said, I go to my Lord. He will guide me. My Lord, give thou me one among the righteous. So we gave him glad tidings of a forbearing lad. And when he reached the age of working with him, he said, O oh, my dear son, I saw in a dream that I was sacrificing thee, so consider thou what seest thou. He said, O oh, my father, do thou that thou art commanded. Thou wilt find me, if God should will, among the patient. And when they had submitted, and he had thrown him down upon his brow, we called to him, O oh, Ibrahim, thou hast confirmed the vision. Thus reward we the doers of good. That was a clear test, and we ransomed him with a tremendous sacrifice. And we left for him among those who came later, Peace be unto Ibrahim. Thus reward we the doers of good. He was among our believing servants, and we gave him glad tidings of Ishaq, a prophet among the righteous. And we blessed him and Ishaq, and among their progeny is the doer of good, and the one who clearly wrongs his soul. And we bestowed favour upon Musa and Harun, and delivered them and their people from the tremendous ordeal, and helped them so they became the victors, and gave them the clarifying law, and guided them to the straight path. And we left for them, among those who came later, Peace be unto Musa and Harun. Thus reward we the doers of good. They were among our believing servants. And Ilyas was among the emissaries, when he said to his people, Will you not be in prudent fear? Will you call to Baal and leave the best of creators, God, your Lord, and the Lord of your fathers of old? And they rejected him. Then are they those summoned. Save the pure-hearted servants of God. And we left for him among those who came later, Peace be unto Ilyasin. Thus reward we the doers of good. He was among our believing servants. And Lut was among the emissaries when we delivered him and his household all together save an old woman among those who stayed behind. Then destroyed we the others. And you pass by them in the morning and at night. Will you then not use reason? And Yunus was among the emissaries when he fled to the laden ship and cast lots, and was of those defeated. And the fish swallowed him when he was blameworthy. 
and were he not among the givers of glory, he would have tarried in its belly till the day they are raised. Then we cast him on a bare tract when he was sick, and caused a tree of gourd to grow over him, and we sent him to a hundred thousand or more. They believed, so we gave them enjoyment for a time. And ask thou them, Are there for thy Lord daughters, and for them sons? If we created the angels females when they were witnesses, in truth it is among their lies that they say God has begotten, and they are liars. Chose he daughters over sons? What ails you? How judge you? Will you then not take heed? If you have a clear warrant, then bring your decree, if you be truthful. And they make kinship between him and the jinn. But the jinn know they will be summoned. Glory be unto God above what they describe. Save the pure-hearted servants of God. And you, and what you serve, you tempt not against him save him who is to burn in hell. And there is none among us save has an appointed station, and we are those lined up, and we are the givers of glory. And they said, Were we to have the remembrance of the former peoples, we would be the pure-hearted servants of God. But they denied it, so they will come to know. And our word has gone forth to our servants, the emissaries. They, they will be those helped. And our host, they will be the victors. So turn thou from them for a time, and watch thou them. They will see. Would they then hasten our punishment? Then, when it descends in their courtyard, evil is the mourning of those who were warned. And turn thou from them for a time, and watch thou. They will see. Glory be unto thy Lord, the Lord of greatness, from what they describe. And peace be unto the emissaries, and praise belongs to God, the Lord of all mankind. Chapter 38 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful Sa'd By the Qur'an full of remembrance The truth is, those who are indifferent to warning are in pride and dissension How many a generation we destroyed before them They cried out when there was no time to escape And they are amazed that a warner has come to them from among themselves and those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue say, This is a sorcerer, a teller of lies. Has he made the gods one god? This is an amazing thing. And the eminent ones among them step forward. Go and be steadfast to your gods. This is the thing to do. We heard not of this in the latter creed. This is only a fabrication. Is it that remembrance was sent down upon him from among us? The truth is, they are in doubt concerning my remembrance. The truth is, they have not tasted my punishment. If they have the treasuries of the mercy of thy Lord, the mighty, the bestower, or if they have the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, then let them ascend into the causes. Some force is thereupon defeated among the parties. The people of Nuh before them rejected, and Ad, and Firaun, lord of stakes, and Thamud, and the people of Lut, and the companions of the woods. These were the parties. All only rejected the messengers, so my retribution became binding. And these... Wait only for one blast, it will have no delay. 
And they say, Our Lord, hasten thou for us our lot before the day of reckoning. Be thou patient over what they say. And remember thou our servant Dawood, one possessing strength. He was one turning in repentance. We made serviceable the mountains with him, giving glory at evening and daybreak. And the birds assembled, all were turning in repentance to him. And we made strong his dominion, and gave him wisdom and discernment of speech. And has the story of the litigants come to thee, when they scaled the wall of the sanctuary, when they entered upon Dawood, and he was in terror of them? They said, Fear thou not, two litigants, one of whom has oppressed the other, so judge thou between us aright, and be thou not unjust and guide thou us to the evenness of the path. This, my brother, has nine and ninety ewes, and I have one ewe. And he said, Place thou her in my charge, and he overcame me in speech. Said he, He has wronged thee in asking thy ewe for his ewes, and many among acquaintances oppress one another, save those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, and few are they. And Dawood saw that we had but subjected him to means of denial, and he sought forgiveness of his Lord, and fell down humbly and repented. And we forgave him that, and he has nearness in our sight and a goodly journey's end. O Dawood, we placed thee as a successor in the earth. Judge thou between men aright, and follow thou not vain desire, lest it cause thee to stray from the path of God. Those who stray from the path of God have a severe punishment because they forgot the day of reckoning. And we created not the sky and the earth and what is between them in vain. That is the assumption of those who are indifferent to warning. And woe to those who are indifferent to warning from the fire. If we make those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness like the workers of corruption in the land, ellipsis, then should we be unrighteous or unfair to continue. Or if we make those of prudent fear like the licentious ellipsis, then should we be unrighteous or unfair to continue. A decree have we sent down to thee, one blessed, that they might ponder its proofs, and that those possessed of insight might take heed. And we gave Dawood Suleiman, how excellent a servant! He was one turning in repentance, when there were presented to him in the evening well-bred racing horses, he said, I have loved the love of good out of remembrance of my Lord, until it disappeared behind the partition. Return them to me. Then he began to anoint the legs and necks, and we subjected Suleiman to means of denial and cast upon his throne a body, then did he repent. He said, My Lord, forgive thou me, and give thou me a dominion such as behooves not any one after me. Thou art the bestower. So we made serviceable to him the wind, blowing gently by his command, whithersoever he directed and the shaitans, every builder and diver, and others bound together in shackles. This is our bestowal, so grant thou, or withhold thou, without reckoning. And he has nearness in our sight, and a goodly journey's end. And remember thou our servant Ayyub, when he called to his Lord, the shaitan has touched me with distress and punishment. Hasten thou away on foot, this is a cool bath and drink. 
and we gave him his household and their like with them as mercy from us and as a reminder for those possessed of insight and take thou in thy hand a bouquet and strike thou therewith and break thou not thine oath we found him patient how excellent a servant he was one turning in repentance and remember thou our servants ibrahim ishaq and yaqub possessors of strength and vision we purified them with a pure quality the reminder of the abode and they are in our sight among the chosen the excellent and remember thou ismail and al yasa and him of the pledge and all were among the excellent this is a remembrance and for those of prudent fear is a goodly journey's end gardens of perpetual abode the gates are opened for them. Reclining therein, they call therein for plenteous fruit and drink, and with them maidens of modest gaze, well matched. This is what you are promised for the day of reckoning. This is our provision. It has no depletion. This. And for the people transgressing all bounds is an evil journey's end. Hell, wherein they will burn, and evil is the resting place. This, so let them taste it. A scolding liquid and intense cold and more of like kind. This a host rushing headlong with you no welcome is there for them they will burn in the fire they will say the truth is you there is no welcome for you you sent it ahead for us so evil is the final lodging they will say our lord whoso sent this ahead for us increase thou for him of punishment a double portion in the fire and they will say what ails us that we see not men we counted among the worst whom we took in derision or does our vision miss them that is true the mutual recrimination of the people of the fire say thou I am but a warner, and there is no God save God, the One, the Omnipotent, Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, the Mighty, the Pardoning. Say thou, it is tremendous news from which you turn away. I had no knowledge of the exalted assembly when they disputed, I am only instructed to be but a clear warner. When thy Lord said to the angels, I am creating a mortal from clay, then when I have formed him and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down to him in submission. And the angels submitted, all of them together, save Iblis. He was proud, and was of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. He said, O oh, Iblis, what hinders thee from submitting to that which I have created with my hands? Art thou become proud, or art thou of the exalted? Said he, I am better than he. Thou createdst me of fire, and him didst thou create of clay. He said, Go thou forth from hence, for thou art accursed, and my curse is upon thee till the day of judgment. Said he, My lord, grant thou me respite till the day they are raised. He said, Thou art of those granted respite till the day of the appointed span, said he. Then by thy greatness will I deceive them all together, save thy pure-hearted servants among them, he said. 
Then the truth, and the truth do I speak. I will fill hell with thee, and such of them as follow thee all together. Say thou, I ask of you no reward for this, and I am not of those who exaggerate. It is only a remembrance for all mankind, and you will come to know its report after a time. Chapter 39 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful The successive revelation of the law is from God, the Mighty, the Wise. We have sent down to thee the law aright. Serve thou God, sincere to him in doctrine. Does not the sincere doctrine belong to God? And those who take allies besides him, we only serve them that they might bring us near to God in proximity. God will judge between them concerning that wherein they differ. God guides not him who is a liar, an ingrate. If God had willed to take a son, he would have chosen from what he created what he willed. Glory be unto him, he is God, the One the Omnipotent. He created the heavens and the earth aright. He wraps the night into the day, and he wraps the day into the night. And he made serviceable the sun and the moon, each running for a named term. Is he not the mighty, the pardoning? He created you from a single soul, then from it made its mate, and he sent down for you of cattle eight pairs. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, creation after creation in three darknesses. That is God, your Lord. To him belongs the dominion. There is no God save he. How then are you diverted? If you deny, God is free from need of you, and he is not pleased with denial for his servants. And if you be grateful, he is pleased therewith for you, and nor does there bear any bearer the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. He will inform you of what you did. He knows what is in the breasts. And when affliction touches man, he calls to his Lord, turning to him. Then when he confers upon him grace from him, he forgets that for which he called to him before and makes equals to God, that he might be led away from his way. Say thou, enjoy thou thy denial a short while. Thou art of the companions of the fire. If he who is devoutly dutiful in the watches of the night, submitting and rising, fearing the hereafter and hoping for the mercy of his Lord, ellipsis, be like one who does not, to continue, say thou, are they equal, those who know and those who know not? There take heed but those possessed of insight, say thou. O my servants who heed warning, be in prudent fear of your Lord. For those who do good in this world is good, and God's earth is spacious. The patient will but be paid their reward without reckoning. Say thou, I am commanded to serve God, sincere to him in doctrine, and I am commanded to be the first of the submitted. Say thou, I fear if I should disobey my Lord the punishment of a tremendous day. Say thou, God do I serve, sincere to him in my doctrine. So serve what you will besides him. Say thou, the losers will be those who lose themselves and their families on the day of resurrection. Is that not the clear loss? They will have a canopy of fire above them, and beneath them a canopy. By that does God put his servants in dread. O my servants, be in prudent fear of me. 
And those who shun idols, lest they serve them and turn to God, for them are glad tidings. So give thou glad tidings to my servants, those who hear the word and follow the best thereof. These are they whom God guides, and these are those possessed of insight. Is then he upon whom the word of punishment has become binding, ellipsis, like one upon whom it has not to continue? Art thou then to rescue him who is in the fire? But those who are in prudent fear of their Lord, they have high places above which are high places built, beneath which rivers flow. The promise of God. God will not break the appointment. Hast thou not considered how God sent down water from the sky and caused it to penetrate as springs in the earth? Then brings he forth a crop differing in its hues. Then it withers, and thou seest it turned to yellow. Then he makes it chaff. In that is a reminder for those possessed of insight. Is then he whose breast God has expanded to submission so that he follows light from his Lord? Ellipsis. Like one whose breast God has not thus expanded? To continue. Then woe to those whose hearts are hardened against remembrance of God. These are in obvious error. God sent down the best narration, a decree of paired comparison whereat shiver the skins of those who fear their Lord. Then their skins and their hearts soften to the remembrance of God. That is the guidance of God wherewith he guides whom he wills, and whom God sends astray, for him there is no guide. Is then he who is in prudent fear in his countenance of an evil punishment on the day of resurrection, ellipsis, like one who is not to continue? And it will be said to the wrongdoers, Taste what you earned. Those before them rejected, and the punishment came upon them without them perceiving. And God made them taste degradation in the life of this world, but the punishment of the hereafter is greater, had they but known. And we have presented to mankind in this Qur'an every sort of example that they might take heed, an Arabic recitation free of deviation that they might be in prudent fear. God presents an example, a man concerning whom are partners quarrelling, and a man in submission to one man. Are they equal in example? Praise belongs to God. The truth is, most of them know not. Thou wilt die, and they will die. Then, on the day of resurrection before your Lord, will you dispute.